Hey guys, Rana here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create e-commerce website from start to finish. So if you're following my other YouTube videos, you know I don't like wasting time. I always make step-by-step -step video tutorials, right? So this video will be step-by-step -step guide as well. By watching this video, you will learn only things that you need to learn. So if you have small shop or even if you have a big store, you can take your business online by creating an e-commerce website just watching this video so let's look at the contents that you are going to learn in this video so now let's take a look at the website that we are going to create in this video check the mic and make sure it sound right and this is going to be our product page people can buy a product from your website by clicking on add to cart from here, they can go to the cart page by clicking over here or they can hover their mouse over here. You can see we have nice preview. They can go to the cart page by clicking over here or they can go to the checkout page directly from here. And this is going to be your beautiful cart page. They can proceed to the checkout by clicking on proceed to the checkout. So this is going to be your checkout page. People can pay this amount with PayPal. To create this beautiful and powerful website, we will use all free resources. We will use free Astra theme as well as we will use free and best plugins to create this beautiful website. You can design your website with drag and drop editor. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say you want to change this text. Let's go ahead click on add it with Elementor and here you can select that text and from left side you can type whatever you want. If you want to change this button color, select that. Let's go to style and here you can change the button color. and then click on update. With Elementor page builder, you can design your website pages with drag and drop feature, which does not require any kind of coding skills. So let's get started and let's create this beautiful and powerful e-commerce website with free resources. So before we get started, make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to press that all notification bell icon. To create any website, it requires web hosting and domain name. If you do not know about web hosting and domain name or stuff like that, well, web hosting is a place where all your website file will be stored. And domain name is your website name like godaddy.com, google.com, facebook.com, okay? To get started, let's click on the first link in the description box of this video and this website will open. Here you can choose your plan according to your requirement. If you are totally new, you can go with a starter plan or economy plan. Both plan comes with free domain name. But if you know little bit about web hosting, then you can go with deluxe or ultimate plan because these two plans comes with unlimited websites, unlimited uh, database and many other features. So I'm going to select economy plan because this plan comes with free domain name and professional email. I'm going to click on add to cart. Now here you can type your domain name because this plan comes with a free domain name. Remember domain name going to be your website name. So I'm going to type my domain name over here and then click on submit. Now I'm going to click on select and continue. So on this page, you can select your web hosting for 12 month or you can go with 24 or 36. So I'm going to select 12 month. Now scroll down and then click on checkout. So on this page, you have to create an account if you are new to GoDaddy. Since I already have account, I'm going to click on sign in. I'm going to log in with my existing account. Let's click on sign in. So on this page, I'm going to type my card detail to complete my payment and then click on save. So on this page, you have to type your billing information. In my case, it is already there. So I do not need to type my billing information. You can see it's already there. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on complete purchase. So now I have to allow the pop up. Now I have to pay this amount. So I'm going to type my OTP and then click on submit. So once you place an order, then go to my account. If you do not know where is my account app, you can simply go to your profile, this drop down button 
and then you can click on my product you will land on the same web page okay so as you can see that we just bought a web hosting from godaddy so in the next step we are going to install a wordpress to get started let's scroll down now click on manage all alongside web hosting now click on this drop down button and click on setup so now you have to select your domain i'm going to select this domain that we just bought with this plan so here you have to select your data center i'm going to select asia now click on yes let's do it type your wordpress username and create your password and type your password once again and then click on next so here you can create a branded email id which look more professional here i'm gonna type info at naughtykid.com and then click on finish so this process can take few minutes updating domain applying things onboarding completed successfully now click on go to the dashboard so i'm gonna click on no i don't want to participate and then click on confirm so guys we have successfully installed a wordpress to access your wordpress dashboard simply click on admin scroll down and click on use default wordpress and then click on yes i'm sure and then click on no thanks i just want to exit all right guys so this is our wordpress dashboard if you hover your mouse over here and then right click and open up a new tab and this is your wordpress website looks like by default let's close these tabs so guys now we are going to install a ssl certificate on this website if you hover your mouse over here on this lock you will see connection is not secure which means information shared between your website and your visitor will not be secure to secure your website you have to install a ssl certificate so guys there are two types of ssl certificate that you will learn on this video i'll tell you everything about those ssl certificate how to install them and what are the difference between them first we are going to install a flexible ssl certificate and later i'll show you how to install a full inscription mode ssl certificate so let's get started and let's install a flexible ssl certificate to install ssl certificate we have to create a cloudflare account so let's go ahead and open up a new tab let's open google.com and perform a google search for cloudflare and open up this website cloudflare.com so on this website you have to create an account let's go ahead click on sign up here type your email and type your password and then click on create account so now we have to activate our cloudflare account cloudflare has sent us a verification email at our email address let's go ahead open up your mailbox so as you can see that cloudflare has sent us a verification email let's open up this email and now let's verify by clicking on this link so as you can see that our email address is now verified which means our cloudflare account is activated let's click on continue to dashboard let's close these tabs now we can add our website on this cloudflare account to add a site you can click over here or you can click over here all right so in my case i will not add my domain name on this cloudflare account basically i'll keep all my domains in one cloudflare account let me show you what i mean by that so let me quickly log out to this account so now let me quickly log in into my official cloudflare account so now i'm inside my official cloudflare account so these are my domain name and i'm gonna add a brand new domain to this cloudflare account to do that let's go ahead click on add site and then simply type your domain name and then click on add site so on this page you have to select your plan let's scroll down and select free plan and then click on continue now cloudflare is scanning a dns record of this domain name now cloudflare has scanned all the dns record now simply scroll down and then click on continue so on this page cloudflare is simply telling us that you have to remove your name server from your domain name my domain name is registered with godaddy so i have to remove godaddy's name server from my domain name and i have to add 
Cloudflare name server into my domain name. Simply, we have to replace these name server, right? If you don't get it, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's simply copy a name server, first one, and let's go to your domain registrar. In my case, this is a GoDaddy. So once you log in into your GoDaddy account, you have to go to my product. Under the domains section, select your domain and then click on manage DNS and then scroll down. You will see a section called name servers. Simply click on change and then click on enter my own name server and type your name server over here. And let's copy the second one from Cloudflare. Let's go back to GoDaddy and paste the second name server. Once you do that, simply click on save and select this option and then click on continue. So we are done here. Let's go back to Cloudflare, scroll down and then click on done check name server. So on this page, let's click on get started. Now click on save. Now you have to turn this on. Always use HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol and then click on save. Now click on save once again. One more time, click on save. And finally, click on finish. Now we have successfully installed a flexible SSL certificate on our domain name. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go to your website and type HTTPS comma double slash and enter. If you see a warning like this, which means SSL certificate is not reflecting on your domain name, this is happening just because of caching. When your computer remove all the caching automatically, you will see SSL certificate working on your domain name. It may take up to 24 hours, sometimes it reflects instantly. However, you may have to wait for a couple of hours or a couple of minutes, but you have to keep checking your domain name time to time. Let's go back and open our website without SSL certificate. So now we have to install a free plugin on our website. Let's go to plugins and then click on add new and search a plugin simple SSL and install this plugin really simple SSL. Click on install now and then click on activate. Now click on go ahead activate SSL certificate. So before we proceed with our next step, let me tell you one thing, your domain name has SSL certificate in it. I'm telling you this why, because Cloudflare telling us your site is protected with Cloudflare. Okay. To prove that, let me open up this domain name with VPN. Let's copy a domain name. Let me use a VPN and let's open your domain name using HTTPS. All right, guys, as you can see, connection is secure, which means your domain name has a SSL certificate. So this is a flexible SSL certificate. Let me stop VPN. Let's refresh the page. And now you can see that connection is not secure. This is happening just because of caching. So don't worry about it. Wait for up to 24 hours. Let's open up this domain name without SSL certificate. Let's remove this S. Let's go to your Cloudflare account. Alright guys, now we are going to install a full inscription mode SSL certificate. But before that, let's look at the difference between flexible and full inscription mode. Flexible SSL certificate scales the sensitive information between user and your website, not a server. On the contrary, full inscription mode scales the sensitive information between user and your website plus between a server. So now let me show you how you can install a full inscription mode SSL certificate. First of all, let's go to your Cloudflare account and now click on SSL slash TLS. Let's click on this lock. All right, as you can see that if flexible selected, information or connection secure between visitor and Cloudflare. If you go with full inscription mode, end-to-end -end inscription mode, that means your server will be secure as well. So let's go ahead and select full inscription mode and now click on origin server and then click on create certificate and then scroll down. You can see that this certificate is valid 
maximum 15 years. After 15 years, you can renew this SSL certificate. But I think this is enough with a free plan. Now simply click on create. So now we have to copy these text and paste into our domain registrar. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's simply click on click to copy. Your text will be copied. And now let's go to your domain registrar and let's go to your account. Let's go to my account and let's scroll down. Let's go to your hosting panel. Let's click on manage alongside with web hosting. So now we are inside the hosting panel. So I'm using a GoDaddy's cPanel hosting. Let's go ahead, open up a cPanel dashboard. All right, guys. So now we are inside a GoDaddy's cPanel web hosting. Let's scroll down and now click on SSL slash TLS under the security section. So here, now click on manage SSL sites. Now scroll down. Here we have to paste our CTR, but before that, let's select your domain and now paste your certificate over here. Let's go back here. Let's copy your origin certificate. Let's go back to your hosting and paste your certificate. Just like that. Scroll down. Here we have to paste a private key text. Let's go back to Cloudflare. Let's copy a private key text. Let's go back to your hosting and paste it over here. And now scroll down. So now we need an authority bundle. To get that, go to the description box of this video and click on the authority bundle link and you will land on this website. Here, simply scroll down and now click on Cloudflare Origin CA RSA Roots. Open this up and copy this authority bundle and let's go back to your hosting and paste your authority bundle over here and simply click on install certificate and then click OK. All right, so our SSL certificate. All right, guys, now we have successfully installed a full inscription mode SSL certificate on our website. Let's go back to your website and let's log in once again. So you still see this message. Don't worry, just wait for a couple of hours. Your problem will be fixed. So guys, I'll see you when my SSL certificate reflects on my domain name. One hour later. So guys, as you can see that my full inscription mode SSL certificate now reflecting on my domain name as well. So as you can see that there is no VPN. If I refresh the page, you can see that SSL certificate still there. For me, it took almost one hour to reflect on my domain name. In your case, it could work any time between 24 hours. You just have to wait for it. All right, so let's move with our next step. Now we are going to install a theme to give our website a brand new look. To do that, let's go ahead and log in into our WordPress dashboard. To log in into a dashboard, simply type your domain name and after that type slash WP dash admin and press enter and it will take you to login page. Here, simply type your username and password and click on login. Now you can see that I've just changed my domain name for some reason. This is a local website. If you want to know how to create a local website, you can check out the description box. You will find a video tutorial for that. Anyways, to install a theme, let's hover your mouse over appearance and then click on themes. Now click on add new. Now come over here and search for Astra. Now select this theme. Make sure this should be by Brainstorm Force. Now click on install and then click on activate. Once you install this theme, now we have to install a plugin. That plugin comes with this theme and it will add extra functionality to this theme. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you look at your site right now, you will see your site like this. There is no content over here, but we want a dummy content for our website so that it would be easier for us to build our website. Let's close this tab. Let's install a plugin. Have you mouse over plugins and then click on add new. Now come over here and search for Astra. Now scroll down. Now install this starter templates 
by brainstorm force click on install now and then click on activate okay plugin has been installed successfully if some reason you're not able to find these plugins and theme i will provide you a link to this theme and the plugin as well in the description box of this video so that you can upload this theme and plugin into your wordpress website once you download plugin and theme from the description box of this video you will get a zip file let me show you how you can install that zip file if you want to install a theme hover your mouse over appearance and then click on themes click on add new now you will see this button right here upload theme and here just drag and drop your zip file and then click on install and activate your theme will be activated on your website in the same way you can install a plugin hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new you will see upload button right here click there same way you can install your plugin drag and drop your plugin or you can browse your plugin from your pc and you can install and activate your plugin as well so this is how you can install a zip file anyways we have successfully installed a theme as well as a plugin right so now it's time to install a dummy website so that it would be easier for us like i said earlier right so let's hover your mouse over appearance and then click on starter templates so here you have to choose your page builder if you do not know about page builders you can check out the description box of this video and learn more about page builders anyways you will see four types of page builder i like elementor i'm gonna select elementor all right now you will see tons of templates that you can use for your website these are the pre-built dummy websites that you can install on your website in this video we are going to create e-commerce website so let's go ahead click on this drop down button and select e-commerce let's go to the drop down button once again and select free and you will see these free templates or dummy website that you can install i'm gonna install this one you can install a specific page or you can install entire website if you click on import complete site it will install everything for you plugins content widgets settings everything for you now choose these options i'm beginner if you are beginner you can select beginner if you are creating this website for yourself select myself my company if you are creating this website for your client you can go with client i'm creating this website for myself let's say okay click on next you can skip this part if you want your website being imported now now you have to just wait for a couple of minutes and it will install all the required plugins content everything for you guys so i'm gonna speed this video up and i'll come back once it's done all right guys so you can see that imported successfully now you can visit your site by clicking on this button so you can see that this is your site looks like after installing a demo content let's close this one let's close this as well now let's go to plugins and verify our plugin by clicking on installed plugins so you can see that this is our plugin area and this is very important and essential plugins you must have on your website so we are good here so let's look at the essential settings of wordpress let's have your mouse over settings and then click on general right here you should type your site title which is already there I'm gonna change and then your tagline you can type something like this is your shopping site or you can type your website description it would be appear right here okay so make sure you type your tagline properly and your wordpress address url and your site address url should be the same guys in my case it is fine administration email address make sure you type your real email address over here whatever happens to your site you will get notified at this email so make sure you type your real email next you can check this option so guys you must enable this option if you want to enable your customer to create an account on your website so make sure you check this option scroll down you can change your site language and time zone language is good let's change the time zone i'm from india i'm gonna change a time zone for my country right scroll down and click on save changes and now let's look at the writings tab 
you don't have to change anything over here for now scroll down and let's go to the readings tab so here you can see by default there is a static page home page selected a home page post page there is a no post page right now however if in future you plan to create a blog post for your e-commerce website then you have to create a blog page and then you have to select that post page from here right and everything is good here once you make your changes don't forget to click on save changes we haven't changed anything on this tab right now okay let's go to discussion tab let's look at the discussion tab you don't have to change anything over here let's look at the permalinks so guys make sure under the common setting you should select post name which is very important guys this is post name allow you to make your website SEO friendly once you do that scroll down at the very bottom and then click on save changes now if you scroll down you will see a privacy privacy tab let's look at that here you can see you should select your privacy policy page if you do not have privacy policy page you have to create one you can create a new page by clicking over here or you can go to the pages and click on add new this way you can create your privacy policy page once you do that don't forget to select your privacy policy page from here and then you can use that page right all right so this was your essential settings of wordpress let's look at the woocommerce settings this is the main setting of our e-commerce website let's hover your mouse over woocommerce and then click on settings all right so under the general tab you have to type in your store address let's say my store is located in india punjab so i have to type my store address select your country state i'm from india punjab your postcode or your zip code under the general option selling location and shipping location i'm selling my products only in specific countries i'm gonna select sell to specific countries only okay and then you have to type your country india scroll down shipping location ship to all countries you sell to or you can select ship to all countries ship to specific countries only i'm gonna select this option i'm gonna type india all right you can make it taxable or not which it's all up to you i'm gonna leave it uncheck enable coupons you can enable coupons you can allow your customer to get discount by coupons code if you create a coupon code for specific product which is very useful make sure you enable this option scroll down lastly we have the currency option choose your currency i'm from india i'm going to type indian rupee now we are good here let's go ahead click on save changes okay let's go to the products tab shop page under the shop page you should select your shop page which is already there add to cart behavior if you choose this option it will allow customer to redirect to the cart page after adding a product into their cart i do not recommend you to choose this option i want my customer to add multiple products into their cart page and then they can redirect to the cart page whenever they want next scroll down we have the placeholder images how many placeholder images you want then we have the measurements if you are selling heavy products then you can select kilograms you can go with grams or you can go with any other weight measurement unit let's say i'm planning to sell clothes then i would go with grams dimension unit centimeter would be fine then we have the reviews enable reviews very important guys make sure you enable reviews for your website once you make your changes don't forget to click on save changes under the inventory you can manage your stock by checking this option you can hold stock for 60 minutes right which is very important you can increase or decrease the number if you want notification you will get notified if you enable these options you can get notified only low stock notification you will get notified out of stock notification here you can type your email in which you want to receive these type of notifications right here you can choose low stock threshold out of stock threshold and the out of stock visibility once you make your changes click on save change next we have the downloadable products we do not deal with downloadable products you can skip this part let's go to the shipping tab so this is very important guys you must understand the shipping zone 
how to create it, how it works correctly before you publish your website or you show your website to the public. First of all, we are going to create shipping zone. Let's say my business located in India, Punjab, and I have planned to ship my products only in my country. And the shipping cost for entire country would be different and shipping cost only for my state would be different. Let's say how you can do that. This is going to be a basic shipping zone. Let's look at how you can create that. Let's go ahead and click on add shipping zone. Here you have to type your zone name. Let's create a zone for my state, Punjab. And here I'm going to select my state, Punjab, India. Click on save changes. And now click on add shipping method. Select flat rate and then click on add shipping method. Now hover your mouse over here and then click on edit. Method title, flat rate, text status. You can make it taxable or you can make it no taxable. Let's go ahead, select taxable. Now I'm going to select the shipping cost. Let's go with 200. If you just type 200 cost, what going to happen is if someone going to buy a single product, then cost would be 200. If someone going to buy five unit of the same product, then cost would be 200 only, which is not right. Okay. So to fix this issue, if you hover your mouse over this symbol, you will see this formula. Let's type that formula here. After your shipping cost, press spacebar and type this asterisk sign, spacebar once again, start bracket, QTY and close bracket. By typing this formula, we made a changes to our shipping cost. Now, if someone going to buy 5 unit of single product, then cost would be 200 multiply 5. It would be 1000 rupees. So this is how this formula works. Make sure you use this formula if you want to create a shipping zone like this. Let's go ahead and click on save changes. So now I have created shipping zone for my state. Let's go ahead and click on shipping zone and let's create a shipping zone for rest of the states. Let's go ahead and click on add shipping zone. Type your zone name. I'm going to type rest of the states. So guys here you have to select rest of the states of your country where you want to ship your product. Hold down control and click you can select rest of the states like that so i'm not gonna do that i just want to show you how you can select rest of the states once you do that scroll down click on save changes let's go ahead click on add shipping method flat rate should be selected click on add shipping method let's edit that flat rate it would be a taxable and for rest of the states cost would be 500 space asterisk space start bracket qty close bracket and this would be a formula now the cost would be 500 multiply the quantity right once you do that let's go ahead click on save changes let's scroll up and click on shipping zone so now you can see we have created two types of shipping zone one for my state and one for rest of the states right now i'm going to show you how you can create a free shipping zone to do that let's go ahead and click on add shipping zone type your zone name under the zone region you have to select the specific zone where you want to give a free shipping to your customer i want to give free shipping only in my state so i'm going to select punjab and then click on save changes and now click on add shipping method this time I would go with free shipping now click on add shipping method now edit this shipping method now free shipping require what let's open this up you will see several options a valid free shipping coupon a minimum order amount minimum order amount or a coupon minimum order amount and a coupon let's say minimum order amount minimum order amount would be 500 okay and then go ahead click on save changes let's go back to shipping zone so this is how you can create a shipping zone for your state rest of the states and free shipping as well so this is the basic shipping guys if you want to learn in detail about shipping zone or shipping classes then drop a comment in the comment section below 
I will create a detailed video on shipping zone. Anyways, let's go to the payments tab. So under the payments method, you have to enable payment gateway of your choice. Right now, there is only three types of payment options that you can enable on your website, direct bank transfer, check payment and cash on delivery. But I like to enable PayPal payment gateway because it is a universal and worldwide famous payment gateway that every e-commerce website must have. Let's go ahead skip this tab for now. We will configure PayPal payment gateway in a few moments later. Let's look at the accounts and privacy tab. So guys here, you can enable guest checkout or you can allow customer to log in into an existing account during checkout, which is very important. Or you can allow customer to create an account during checkout. And these are the option you must enable on your website, right? Scroll down. Everything is good here. Let's go ahead and click on save changes. Let's go to the emails tab. So guys, first three emails should be yours. If you do not know how to change it, let's go ahead, click on manage. Here you can change this email. Make sure this option is enabled. Let's go back. Let's look at the integration. You don't have to change anything over here. Let's go to the advanced. So under the advanced tab, you can see we have page setup. Cart page should be a cart, checkout page should be checkout, my account page should be my account which is already there and terms and condition page is missing. If you do not have terms and condition page, you have to create one. To create the terms and condition page, go to pages and then click on add new and create your own terms and condition page. Once you do that, come back to this page and select your terms and condition page from here and do not use this option if you have SSL certificate you can use it otherwise you can uncheck this option checkout endpoints these are the notes that you can change for yourself by default these are the good ones I do not need to change anything over here let's go ahead click on save changes all right we are good here now we can deal with the payments tab but before that let's go ahead and look at our plugins our view mouse over plugins click on install plugins and we do not see any kind of paypal payment gateway plugin here let's go ahead and install that one by clicking on add new and come over here and search for paypal so guys here you can install this plugin let's go ahead click on install now and now click on activate once you install and activate this plugin you will see this option upgrade to PayPal payments. The best way to get paid with PayPal and WooCommerce. You can upgrade to PayPal payments now. Let's go ahead, click over here. Let's upgrade our WooCommerce plugin to PayPal payment gateway. Let's go ahead, click on activate plugin. If you scroll down, now you can see that we have WooCommerce PayPal, we have PayPal checkout gateway. Let's deactivate this one for now. And let's go to WooCommerce and let's go to the settings and now let's click on payments tab and now you can see we have PayPal and now you can see we have PayPal let's enable this let's toggle to manual credential input connect to PayPal we do not want that let's go back this is not the payment gateway I used to use let's go back to our plugins area and go ahead and look at the plugins area and let's activate this paypal checkout gateway once again and now let's go to the woocommerce settings click on payments here you can see we have paypal checkout and it is enabled and let's go ahead click on manage so guys here you can enable your paypal payment gateway first of all make sure you enable this option here you can change the title description which is good you don't have to change anything there under the environment, you can select live or sandbox. Sandbox means you can test your payments with test mode or your fake PayPal money, right? I'll show you how to do that. To test your payments, we need sandbox API username, password and signature. To get that, all we have to do, we have to log in into our PayPal. Let's go ahead, click on PayPal. 
or you can maybe click over here open link in a new tab they will tell you where to go anyways remove this tab let's go to paypal and login type in your email make sure you have paypal account if you don't have paypal account it is very easy to create paypal account just click on sign up and fill in the form and you can create your paypal account quickly with few simple clicks once you do that just log in as i'm doing right now i'm gonna type my email click next type in your password once you log in let's go ahead click on my paypal and then click on app center scroll down and search for api credentials here you can see api credentials if you do not see api credential anywhere here you can simply search that here you can type simply api and you will see api credentials okay let's go ahead select that click on get started now scroll down you can click over here you can right click over here open link in a new tab now you will see this tab right here this is your live api we don't really need it we need sandbox api username and password to get that we have to go to the developers account so once you land on developers account you can close this option you can close that tab you can see we have my apps and credentials right now we have selected sandbox in the right side we have live api credentials once you finish testing your payments getaway you can switch to live mode then you are ready to receive real payment from real person right now we are just testing our payments let's come back to this page so first of all you have to create an app for your sandbox to do that let's go ahead click on create app now type your app name i'm gonna type articate underscore test merchant should be selected and then click on create app so now you can see this is your sandbox account which means username and this is your client id and this is your secret id okay let's copy the username come back here paste your username come back here copy your client id and paste over here and sandbox api signature would be your secret key okay that's it scroll down at the very bottom and click on save changes all right guys so this is how you can set up your paypal payment gateway if you want to learn more about paypal payment gateway you can watch the description box of this video and learn more about paypal payment gateway in detail right so guys we are finished with our woocommerce settings let's move with our next step let's come back to your dashboard so now i'm going to show you how you can publish a product on your e-commerce website like this right to create this type of product let's go back to your dashboard and hover your mouse over products and then click on add new here you have to type your product name so i'm going to copy and paste the title copy it let's paste here underscore 2 this would be a second copy okay scroll down here you have to type the description of this product let's copy the description as well this would be a description this is very short description let's copy it come back here and paste your description press enter paste one more time one more time something like that i paste multiple time this description just for demonstration purposes your description should be more than 300 words or equal to 300 words if you want to publish a seo friendly product on your website this is very important next right side you will see product category right now by default there is only two categories mugs and t-shirts if you want to create more categories you can simply click on add new category you can type something like mugs underscore one or whatever you want you can type over here type your category name and then click on add new category right scroll down you can type your product tags let's type in something like mugs new mugs 
whatever you want okay now scroll down this is the astro settings i don't want to change anything over here let's scroll down at the very bottom so this would be your product image this image will appear on your shop page okay this image will appear on your shop page in fact let me show you let's click over here all products so this is your product image okay so let's choose a product image you can upload your product image from your PC your computer okay or you can go with free images or you can load from media library this is going to be my product image let's go ahead select that below that you will see the product galleries here you can upload multiple images of this product from different angles these images will appear on product page let me show you let's open any product so here you can see you can display multiple images but right now this product has only one image let's look at this product this product also has one image anyways let's go ahead and uh, add multiple images holding down control you can select multiple images and then click on add to gallery you can see we have selected five images right here let's scroll up here you can type your product short description let's copy the short description from this product highlight copy scroll down and paste your short description over here and let's scroll up and let's look at this section right here which is very important guys product data this product is a simple product grouped product external affiliate product variable products some of these features comes with your theme okay like external affiliate products so this product is a simple product okay this is a visual or downloadable product you don't have to check any of these option so what would be the price let's say 400 rupee for this product if you want to set this product under sale then you can type something like 350 sale going on for this product so once you do that you set your regular price you set your sale price we are good here this is a simple product finally click on publish once you publish the product let's view the product and now you can see these are the gallery images and this is the product image this this is a description and this would be a short description if you go to all product you will see this product over here as well underscore two if you open that this would be a sale price this is a regular price okay you will see a sale tag as well so this is how you can publish your own product on your website if you have product on your warehouses take pictures of that product from different angle and you can use photoshop to clean the background and you can use gray background just like it to make your website look more professional then you can use those images on your product page right so this is very important guys you use beautiful images for your product if you want real sale on your e-commerce website if your product page look ugly then no one going to buy a product from your website in future i'll show you how to create a beautiful product page so that you can attract anyone with one glimpse okay anyways let's close these tabs and let's go to the dashboard and let's move with our next step all right guys now i'm going to show you how you can change literally anything from your website like you can change your logo you can customize your menus you can change the title or anything you want from your website let's start with our menu customization to do that let's click on customize now you will see the menus let's go ahead open that now you can see we already have three types of menus right we have imported links we have main menu we have quick links if you look at here you can see the menu locations there are one two three four five different locations of the menus on this website which is splendid okay let's go back here and let's go to the main menu or you can simply hover your mouse over any specific area you will see this pencil icon which is editable element 
let's go ahead click over here it will take you to editing section let's go back here let's go back once again let's edit the menu main menu so here you can see that we have this home all product all products about contact and account under the account we have uh, some other links like we have cart you can see these are the sub menus if you want to delete any specific if you want to delete any of these item from this menu simply expand that scroll down and remove that section right and if you want to add a new item to this menu you can simply click on add item you can add pages you can add post landing pages product category you can add anything you want in this menu let's go ahead and uh, add a about page let's drag and drop that about page right about here and you can see about page come back to this menu so this is how you can add about page if you want to create sub menu let's go ahead click on add item scroll up let's go ahead and add checkout checkout page and you can simply drag and drop under any menu where you want to create some menus right so I do not want checkout below the about I want to show checkout right here just for demonstration purposes but in real life it is not really there let's go ahead close this I just want to show you how to create some menus once you get your menu scroll down you can choose the menu location from here this is a this is a primary menu and we have a secondary menu off canvas menu logged in menu you can show wherever you want right once you make your changes click on publish so this is how you can edit your menu very simple let's go back now I'm going to show you how you can remove this logo or you can replace with your own logo simply hover your mouse over here you will see this pencil icon not click over here just click on this pencil and it will take you to this logo editing section in the left side you can change logo or you can remove logo let's go ahead click on change logo here you can upload file if you have one I do not have any logo right now so I'm gonna leave it as it is so this is how you can change your logo you can change logo width whatever you want okay you can display site title if you want you can display site tagline if you want you can add your site icon so this is going to be your site icon let's go ahead add that from media library you can upload your site icon if you want I do not have site icon right now let's select this one and click on select and then click on crop image you can see we just change our site icon once you do that click on publish let's close this one all right if you scroll down you can see we have the footer menu you can change that you can change literally everything let's go ahead click on customize once again scroll down now you can edit your quick links by clicking on the pencil icon or you can edit this text you can edit this custom print store you can edit these social icons by clicking anywhere you want you can edit that section it will take you to that area right if you want to change your Instagram URL you can type your Instagram URL over here something like instagram.com slash your Instagram URL you can contact me over here guys or you can type something like at the rate your Instagram URL once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish so now I'm going to show you how you can edit your home page with Elementor page builder because this page built with Elementor now I'm going to show you how you can edit that let's go ahead click on edit with Elementor it will launch Elementor page builder so here you can literally edit anything you want simply highlight that text and it will take you to the editing section from left side here you can type whatever you want something like let's say I can help you whatever you want I can help you something like that you can change this text by simply selecting them and you can type whatever you want you can even change this image if you want you can simply click on that image that you want to change 
and from the left side you can choose image if you want to choose different image you can do that as well you can upload a new image or you can choose different image from here this is a png image i do not have any other png image for my home page so i'm not gonna change anything over here let's scroll down you can change this image if you want you can add more section if you want by clicking on this plus icon you can add this section here you can click on plus icon and now you can select structure you want if you want two sides you can go ahead select that here you can click on this plus button right here and you can upload image if you want here let's go ahead and upload different image let's upload this image insert media in the right side i can simply add heading you can type whatever you want something like that alignment would be center size would be medium or maybe large maybe extra extra large right let's go to the style here you can change the text color whatever color you want right and then we have the text shadow typography blending mood normal which is good let's go to the advance margin padding you can change the padding and all is self-explanatory everything you can do right here okay so guys this is not a detailed video on elementor if you want to learn elementor in detail go ahead and comment in the comment section below i will definitely create a detailed video for you guys in very simple way right so this is how you can edit any section by simply clicking on that if you want to change the button text button link button color click on that and editing section will appear and start editing your element right once you make your changes don't forget to click on update now you can click on this burger menu icon and you can click on exit to dashboard or you can go to the view page all right guys so this is how you can create an e-commerce website but you're not finished yet once you finish with your website you have done everything to your website finally you have to submit your website on popular search engines like google bing and yahoo this way people can search your website on these popular search engines okay if you want to learn how to submit your website on google or bing or yahoo you can check out the description box you will find a video tutorial right there i already created that video for you guys make sure you watch that video and submit your website on popular search engines right so that's the end of this video i hope you learned something from today's video if you really saw don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and thank you so much for watching this video that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time